Hello, I'm Vanessa West and I'm from Colchester in England. My favourite baptismal covenant is bearing one another's burdens. But how do I keep the important distinction between bearing one another's burdens and trying to fix everyone's problems? So the position of going and solving other people's problems before they have asked you to, we call that codependency. <laughs> it's not particularly healthy. The healthier stance is walk with that person, be with that person, don't fix their problems unless you are invited into that problem and you know that they are gonna be interested in what you have to say and still you're an advisor ultimately it's between them and God, mm -hmm. what is going to happen? You're not now running their life. But if you wait till you're asked, if that person trusts you, they're eventually going to ask. Okay. And then you have a lovely in to do it. Do we see any aspects of that, James, within this narrative of... Oh, so many. My, my <laughs> mind is going in tons oh, good, of directions, good, good. right? Because we have that distinction between mourning with those who mourn and comforting those who stand in need of comfort mm -hmm. and bearing burdens, mm -hmm. right? And sometimes it's time to just mourn. I'm thinking too about how we get instances from Alma where by having gone through a process, he's really comfortable with his past. When his people are saying, hey, we're out, we've got a city, should we have a king? He goes, no, no, no. <laughs> yes. I, know. I know this didn't go well and I myself fell into this trap. Yeah. Right. Once we had a king, I was drawn in, mm -hmm. but he's not afraid of that. Right. Yeah. There's not this shame. So he doesn't need to rush to fix things. I think, too, with Lamai's people, we saw that they were trying to skip steps. Mm -hmm. Right. And going straight to how do we get out? How do we fix this? But that's not what the Lord wanted them to learn. Right. Fixing the problem was, was not the fundamental lesson. When you were going through your cancer treatment, I imagine there were people in your life who very much wanted to fix that problem for you, maybe even offered you suggestions of things to try. <laughs> <laughs> so many, I just said, when you get a diagnosis, everybody's gonna come out of the woodwork because right. they all got the plan. And, right. and lovingly so, they're doing, yes. it, they're doing it in part because they really care about you, but they're also doing it in part because they're so uncomfortable that you are going through something and they wish that God would take it away from you. If he pulled you out of every single situation you were in, you would not learn. <laughs>